So Tim, uh, could you tell me uh, what you do here at Advanced Concrete? I'm the production supervisor. Uh, so I oversee all of our production operation in, in our forms and our welding department So yeah, and staffing of employees here. Now what's the main uh, item you're manufacturing? We manufacture forms for pouring foundations for residential and light commercial properties. Okay. You have had a ZA6 robot for a about six months now? Oh, we've had it longer than that. We, yeah. we, it's only been in operation for, we'll say, a number of months. But okay. we, we actually started this process back in, I think it was December yeah. of, of last year. And then uh, we brought the robot in, kind of got it partially set up, and then we had to build a jig for what we're doing. And then, and then we've been playing with it since. So what are you actually welding? We're welding some mild steel components. Uh, the, the one that currently is what we call a one by one component. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, um, it makes up part of our system that goes on a corner. Okay. Can you show me the part? Yes. Uh, where's, the, where's the weld at? The weld is, is, in, is in two small places. It's two components that are welded together. So it's this, this two inch by roughly three inch uh, rectangle and then this smaller component, which is a one inch by two inch component that's welded to it. It's just two small, tiny wells. Okay. And the, the location of those wells is critical because this lever has to be placed with a bolt in it. If the weld is too close to center and it touches the lever, it won't work. Because this is a monotonous particular job, mm -hmm. highly skilled welders don't want to touch it. Mm -hmm. They don't want to sit and weld some little component like that all day long for days on end or weeks on end. Um, so finding a um, entry level welder that we're willing to train mm -hmm. has been very difficult. Why did you think about using a robot? Well, you know, the, the talk in the business here was that it would speed up some of the processes that we currently do. And, and so what we did, uh, we decided to start with that single component, which is pretty simple to weld, but yet we go through thousands of them. So we thought that's where we would start. In the future, we really, really wanted to try to do other things for us, but all in welding. Okay. Yes. Okay. Has been using this robot been fun? Were, were you scared at first? You know, I wouldn't say scared. Um, maybe, maybe concerned as to whether or not I was going to be able to figure it out. But uh, yeah, it, it's been fun. Uh, it was a little bit of a challenge and, and mentally uh, starting it out. But yeah, we've enjoyed it. It's been, it's been fun and fun to play with. Good. So yeah. Good. That's good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Have you had to put much cost into the programming? No, no. That was, uh, so far, that's, that's been minimal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Any, any issues during the programming or during the function of the robot? Uh, we, we did have to play with uh, the feed and the amperage in the welder before we got it to produce the weld that we wanted. Uh, but that was strictly because we're not welders. We just we're programming it to do what we wanted it to yeah. do. So yeah, that was the only big hiccup. So are you excited for what you can do with uh, this robot and other robots in the future? Well, that's the hope, yeah. you know, and again, this isn't my area of expertise, but it's, yeah. been, um, it's been promising to see it doing what it's doing now. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we, when we refine this and it's um, more operator friendly, because we have some functions we have to do before we cut a, a regular operator loose on it. Right now it's myself or um, my fellow coworker who's got some background in computers and, and understands the operation. Mm -hmm. Until we get it where it's more user friendly for a general operator, it's just the two of us that are doing it for now. And, okay. and uh, I don't think that we have any issues that I can think of at, at the moment. Oh, that's yeah. cool, yeah. that's nice. Have you written down pretty much a manual of what you did with this particular part for future reference. That would be a big fat no. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, because uh, you know when we were learning, um, it was more trial and error than yeah. anything. And, uh, yeah. and again, we didn't have it welding. We were just pinpointing its locations where we wanted it to weld. And, um, but yeah, we didn't write anything down. Okay. <laughs> that's how confident we were. <laughs> okay, that's good, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have one last question I ask everybody. Sure. What gets you excited about coming to work every day? Wow. Well, I, I've, I've been, uh, I, I'm at that point of near uh, retirement, 
So that's what really gets me excited. <laughs> if you really want to know the truth, I'm looking forward to those days where I don't have to get up at four o'clock in the morning. But really, what's uh, I, I would say what's most exciting about coming to work every day is the challenge of the things that we do. Um, we manufacture a variety of components that go with our system, and we have a variety of equipment that's doing that. Um, I am probably the most knowledgeable person in the plant that keeps this equipment working. Yeah. So that's what gets me. I'm a very mechanically minded person, so that's kind of my main excitement. And the second thing would be some of our employees. Yeah. Uh, we got some pretty good people here. So, yeah. so you're going to leave it in good hands? Yes. yes. What are your plans for retirement? Well, uh, what's my plans for retirement? I, I recently built a, had a 40 by 60 shop built at my home. Yeah. Um, uh, I've been in the motorcycle business most of my life. I've restored, rebuilt, and built custom motorcycles. I have a pretty extensive uh, background in automobiles. I was a Porsche Audi technician for many years. So I'm restoring a couple of cars right now and I'm working on motorcycles. Nice. That sounds fun. Yeah. Good. Yeah.